For number 14, there's two different approaches you can make to these problems of transforming them from one function into another trig function. You can either one, take your things back to the basic building blocks of our, all of our trig functions, which is sine and cosine, or two, if you can relate one function to another. So for this one, I don't wanna take it all the way back to sines and cosines. I think it would be easier if we consider that cotangent of t is equal to one over tangent t. If we make this substitution right here for this cotangent, then we'll have all of our terms in, in regards to ones and tangents. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that substitution here. So I get one plus one over tangent t divide it by one plus tangent t. Now make sure when you're working this that you don't get tempted to start canceling things out incorrectly. Follow your steps and be very detail oriented with these problems. Now what I'm gonna do next is, if you remember we have a fraction trick, if you have a over b plus or minus c over d, you can quickly just go that this is equal to a times d and then whatever you're doing, either addition or subtraction, we're not gonna use those together, BC all over, multiply across the bottom, BD. And we, you've probably seen that fraction trick before. I'm gonna do that here with the top part. I have one plus one over tangent T. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I have a one here, so I'm just gonna put it over one to create a fraction. So I'm gonna say equal to, because I'm just transforming this, we're still equal. And I'm going to do my fraction trick. 1 times tangent gives me tangent, plus multiply this way, which gives me 1, all over multiply this way, which gives me tangent. And the whole reason I want to do that is because then I'm going to divide that thing by 1 plus tangent t. Now, if you remember how to divide fractions, you either multiply by the reciprocal or keep it, change it, flip it. So, you keep the top, tangent t plus one over tangent t, and you change it to multiplication, and then you do the reciprocal of this, which is one over one plus tangent t. The whole reason I want to do that is because now you'll notice, to multiply fractions, you multiply across the tops and across the bottoms. So this gives me tangent t plus one, addition is commutative, so I'm just gonna put that one in front for visual sake. On bottom, I get tangent t times one plus tangent t. And now that I have a multiplication of these things, not just addition, I can cancel. And you can see that one over tangent, t, one plus tangent t, one plus tangent t would cancel, which gives me one over tangent t. And then simplify that down, that reverts back to cotangent. So for this problem, um, I think the best course of action would to be switch everything to tangents, and then you're just gonna have to use your algebra and fraction rules in order to simplify this. But just be careful with your cancellations that you don't cancel inappropriately, um, and it's all mathematically correct. So hope this helps with number 14. To continue our talk, I wanna go ahead and roll into number 15 because it's very similar. It says simplify to an expression involving a single trig function with no fractions. If needed, enter square trigonometric expressions using the following notation. And so we're probably gonna end up with some squared ones if they gave us that hint. And so first let's look at what we have to start with. We have one, excuse me, one minus cosine squared t over cosine squared t. Since I have a squared cosine and a one, this is making me think that we need to use our Pythagorean identity of sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. So if I manipulate that and move this cosine over, I get sine squared t equal to one minus cosine squared t. And then I'm gonna make that substitution here in my numerator. So that gives me equal to sine squared t over cosine squared t. And just because I had that one minus cosine squared t is what made me go the Pythagorean identity, even though I only have cosines throughout there. Because then I can see that sine over cosine is equal to tangent, so this gives me tangent squared t as a result. And so this one actually went pretty quickly, but you did have to know that Pythagorean identity in order to manipulate it. 
So I hope this helps with 1415. If you need additional help or resources, please reach out.